I think it's the brainchild of Trigger Happy and Anubhav Sinha sir, and I think it was a great marketing campaign, and it just goes with the with the core of the film, and that's what Anek is all about. It's special. Hi, this is Aishman Khurana, and you're watching me on PeepingMoon.com. My film Anek is in theaters now. Jeetega Ga Kaun, Hindustan. It's not every day that you come across films which we term as, I would say, bold. Not might not be the word, but the conversation starters. But then, when it's Ayushman Khurana, when can you not expect any film of his to be a conversation starter? Let's welcome him, the man of the hour, for Peeping Moon today. Hi, Ayushman. Hi. How are you? How does it feel that it's it's a sort of responsibility when it comes to you that you are always starting a conversation, a conversation which. I'm not saying it's not started before, hmm. but somehow with your face and voice to it, it reaches millions of people. Do you feel this that you're shouldering a responsibility of sorts? You know, it's just not me. It's it's also the voice of the director and the scriptwriter. I know I just I can make a choice of a particular film or a subject, but I know it's it's a lot of responsibility on on my like own shoulders. Seriously, it's also Anubhav sir, Andrea, from from Nagaland, who is the lead actor. It's it's a team effort. And I think the credit should be given to everyone equally. Of course, I love to choose films um, which add a certain value to the to society, to the country, and it is one of those kind of films which will be like known as one of the most important films ever. Exactly. Why I ask you? Because uh, it's not that we we have not had films based on the subject where we have seen the trials and tribulation with the North Eastern people, like Akune in the past with Say Sayoni in the lead was one of the nice conversation starters. But um, what I have heard from everyone around this is probably one of the most boldest attempts, like Anik, when yeah. it comes to that. Do you think that such kind of strong film, where you can voice it in the mainstream category, mm. aimed to a theatrical release mm. of this scale, mm -hmm. was a long due move? Absolutely, I think the the it it needs like a bigger scale and wider reach, and people should watch it every part of the country, and uh, even. People who have not subscribed to uh, OTT platforms. So I think if the film releases on both the platforms, on on theater and OTT, I think it get, gets a wider reach. So that's the probably the aspiration of us with this particular film, uh, because it is it is something which is very relevant, and it's need to be seen for sure. Aish, uh, when we are presenting a political dialogue through cinema. It can get us uh, diverse views from yeah. any section because, of course, everyone has a different take on it. And I remember, like, uh, when a couple of my friends and my team, when they came on watching the film mm. uh, recently, mm. they had this uh, entire discussion and the murmur that how people will perceive it. People can have any kind of view. Somebody can also end up saying that okay, it's not matching with our sentiments. Mm. It's Say an anti-national or whatever. There is mm. any kind of term. Mm. Are you prepared for those kind of brickbats if they come your I'm way? I'm always prepared for that because my filmography is full of, <laughs> full of subjects which are debatable and uh, which are not in the syllabus I of Indian the, cinema. Yeah, ever. there are barely any films of yeah. yours which don't start a debate I in a good what manner. Is, what is the point otherwise? But in every film, it's important to give varied viewpoints. Like there's my viewpoint, there's uh, Manoj sir's viewpoint. So it's very important to give varied viewpoints so that audience can have their own opinions and inference. But uh, yes, you will get opinions from from other every side. In fact, after watching the film or the trailer, but when you watch the film, you realize it's 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 good for the country maybe, and and probably the opinions come from the mainland, from other states who think that you know there is no discrimination. But people who get discriminated only they know that they are being discriminated. I totally agree. You shot it in one of the, not one of. I think probably the major part was shot in the north east region of the yeah. uh, nation. Uh, when you interacted with the locals out there and spoke to the people, was that like an eye opener moment? Because as you just said, when you meet them, you realize that what exactly the one who have faced the re harsh yeah. realities, they are the one who are the bearers of it. Was any such experience which actually shook you? Because Sometimes you just go for a research and a prep, you know, and then you end up experiences seeing which shake you could be seen here in Bombay, not in Bombay mostly, but in North, in Chandigarh, Haryana, Punjab, where people from Northeast uh, come there and they have been called names. Names, names which we are not even we should be calling on camera for even a second yeah, record. Yeah, yeah. So 
when you go to north east of course you will not see any shockers over there because you you get to see when people come from north east come to the mainland and then they to the other states in mm. fact then they get suffered yeah. they are really really not treated well so that's an issue and that's what is that was that's what is hi- highlighted in the film and i think it's applaudable when anubhav and you i remember i spoke to you at the trailer preview when you told us that it was such a conscious choice to only go for the actors who represent the region who represent the land do you think that this will be a widely accepted move because it's easier said than done while there are people i remember who always end up saying when chandigarh also came for that matter that yeah. you should have cast you know a certain person for yes. a certain role yeah. hey you have done the job yeah. even without anyone asking yeah. how do you think it is going to be perceived as a move i think you will get big brats every night every time like even if you uh, probably cast a trans girl only like a section of society will be happy but it's it's you need to have that representation but with this particular also like there will be people nahi kisi bollywood actor ko kar lete i remember i saw trailers ke niche comments ki are koi bada chehra lena chahiye tha exactly and i'm like you are the same people who criticize priyanka's mari com in a manner they no, no, were no they're not the same i don't think they'll be the same people that's the that's not the, the same thing. maybe yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah just like the way to put but it but mari com made 100 crores yeah and so I that's think... the crutch of the mainstream commercial cinema that it will it's the boon and bane absolutely it's very difficult to tread that path of being little you know uh, what do you call like a change maker and also giving in to the and keeping in the commercials of commercial it aspects you, also yeah it's, it's a business it's very difficult it's very very difficult it's like a very thin rope to tread yeah and ek if i'm not mistaken more than the physical physicality of it comes across as a very emotionally draining role yeah was it difficult to detach yourself from it by the time you finished it because you have spoken what your process as an actor and i think it would be wonderful to hear it from you that no i think the article was more difficult for me article? because it was this first of first because it was dealing with like uh, like rape issue and uh, that too of a minor so it was it was just too much for me but this one i was still aware of the issue and uh, uh it was something which was not that dark for me in a way uh, because it's it's also uh, it's also it's also maybe there's ray of sunshine in the end you know it it really matters with that because there is there's a ray of hope in the end uh, there's there's there's, there's one character for a better future andrea is representing the country and she has in, she's having a con- conflict with her father who's anti india in the film so but overall i think it lands in a positive note so i think that's that's a ray of hope um uh, ashwan um over a decade in films first of all of course congratulations is due for that i couldn't meet you for that one over a decade in cinema and probably every kind of note you have hit with the audience but what is it as an actor do you, does this something left with scares you because i think challenge might not be the word for you anymore you always end up picking up challenging roles but is it something which is which still scares you you want to try your hands at as an actor nothing scares me nothing nothing i want to do everything is this that the script should have something different for me like it should have some quirk or some something which has not happened in the past some does it, novelty does it become difficult to look out for such characters which speak to you because there are very few characters with a filmography of yours who has only picked up things which as i said the conversation strikers does it does somebody it somebody needs to do research? that right somebody needs to do that like we are not just selfishly making money over exactly. here and just selfishly catering to the popular beliefs i have to go against the popular beliefs because that's that's me and that's so you. i can't i can't really khud se aise jhoot bolnu hai that's why i in my mind i always call you an anti hero for a reason <laughs> you're not that hero you know the image which we call for a hero because this is this hero for me ayushman is always the person who is always uh, picking up roles which anyhow we don't put our hero mold hmm. to does every day going to work is now like aaj kuch aisa dhoondna hai that i keep up with that hota hai every day nahi hota par ha every week keh sakte hain that we need to find something which is which blows everyone's mind maybe as a subject or an issue or some something which is which could be said in an engaging way to the audience is there a story you're waiting to tell 
you just as an actor i don't know if it somebody has offered it to you or not but just you as aishman is there something you want to tell the world a lot of things about climate maybe about lot of issues because if i say a particular issue then book of film ban jati hai us pe agle din matlab it has happened in the past i am asking you because uh, because as an actor there are so many dimensions that you can try later so if an actor in you doesn't get the kind of scripts with sati it's your hunger will you ever get into the domain of writing it yourself or going behind the camera to make would love to produce them wow i would love to produce and probably direct i don't know tahir has already because, <laughs> yeah, the band yeah yeah but i think you can make your own calls and you can go with your own gut there there are less creative kind of conflicts and confusions because it always happens with every film so it just would agar veto aapke paas hoti hai na you zimmedari bhi bahut zimmedari badhti hai bilkul ab itni zimmedari le li hai har ek film ke sath to ye bhi le lete hai na So guys Ayushman is definitely not telling us what is next in his <laughs> mind but that the good news here is that you never know that we might see you putting out content which you think should also be reaching Let's the masses Let's see fingers crossed Just for the last one uh, Ayushman as a we all as an as an Indian we are sitting here we don't differentiate us on the basis of aap kahan se hain main kahan se hu but i have to bring this in the last couple of movies which i have seen this beautiful campaign you guys have picked up for the national anthem yeah. with all the north east in stand and everyone does mm-hmm. i i don't know how to put it across that was one feeling when it first time came on the stream i'm like this is what this is what just the nation needs to see but you just need to get up for a national anthem yeah. without confining yourself from which i think this is the brain child of trigger happy and anubhav sinha sir and i think it was a great marketing campaign and it just goes with the with the core of the film and that's what anek is all about it's special and it's for all Yeah. This anik is for everyone, just to unite. But thank you, Ishman. Every time that there is one little gem you bring, and we end up discussing, and I just can't somehow go beyond a film with you. I feel like there is so much in one film to talk to you about that I can't touch on any <laughs> other issue. So thank you for keeping me immersed in a conversation. Also, there is so you. much to always, always run through. Thank you so much. Thank you for the better films. Always, thank you.